Well, it is another beautiful day yes. on the 41.36. Absolutely gorgeous. Man, we have been blessed with these beautiful mornings lately where you come outside and it's all crisp outside still. It's not blistering hot. It's yep. been beautiful. It doesn't usually get too nasty until the afternoon. Yep. But uh, we're ready for it. We're ready for it today. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be uh, staying in the tree line where we'll be getting a little bit of shade. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see. We got a lot of work we want to get done today, guys. Um, on our last video, y'all saw us sawing away and getting all these fence posts down, or future fence posts, I should say, all these cedar posts. Um, and we're actually walking over to the animal tier right now. We've got some things on our mind, um, but we definitely got to put the work in down here on this animal tier today. Yes, yes. it's going to be uh, a lot of work, but I'm ready for it. Yeah, me too. All right, let's get it. This is a promised land Remind me again How we started I'm Gary I'm Melanie And these are our kids Hi, Gary! Hi, Gary! Hi, Gary! And we are Simple Life Reclaimed So on our last video, you guys saw us chopping down all of those cedars and making posts out of them. Yes. Uh, today we're actually going to try to get all of those posts in the ground and start building our fence for this bottom animal tier area. Um, while Gary was doing the string line um, for around here for us to set up and decide where we wanted to put the posts, um, Gary actually brought up a good point. Yeah, I had a thought. And, and uh, that's where the trouble starts. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at all the spacing and everything of what we have, and I was looking at the rabbits. I was uh -huh. looking at all the gold on the ground. Yeah, this gold right here that we're talking about, all that garden gold. And these guys are already caged in and fenced in, per se. Right. Um, so we're going to have to grab all that and bring it up to the garden. Mm -hmm. where that's just where it's gonna need to be anyway. Yeah. So why not bring the rabbits up to the garden area and be able to just not have to come back and forth for the gold? <laughs> <laughs> and that will give us a bigger chicken run area as well as a bigger space for all the animals that are coming to the future. When Gary told me that, I would like a light bulb went off in my head. It was like, bing! <laughs> and I was like, why didn't we think about that? I needed to figure out exactly where I wanted my fence, and I wanted it to be as straight as humanly possible. Well, straight as humanly possible made it to where I lost a lot of this hillside right here. So I was like, ah, I don't want to lose the dirt that I already paid to put in here. So we extended it off to the side, and we're going to be gaining as much as possible. Now, some of you guys might be like, oh my goodness, why would you do that? It's going to be close to the ground and it's going to erode away. Well, once you put it in the fence and everything else, it actually, we can make a deterrent very easily and make it to where the water ways will go away from it. And it's not going to do so much damage. As well as doing all of this, we're going to be able to move a little bit of dirt around and get it to where it needs to be and everything else like that. So I'm pretty happy about it. And this will get us the max maximum uh, fencing that we can do for this bottom tier. So you can see the fence post going from here to about there. And then it goes straight all the way down to the back, like all the way past where the horse trailer is. We're not fencing this whole long way today. We are going to be stopping right about here where Gary's at. And then so, fen so fencing like this and then all the way back over here. Yep. And we're going to have to move this guy down over there and we'll build the chicken coop and everything over there. But this will give them a huge run area. We put in a lot of little obstacles and give us a, a huge space for plenty, plenty of fowl. I'm super excited, guys. 
we're gonna get a good six foot fence. Look at that guy. Yeah, this is a next to Gary. So Gary, let's give him a little size comparison. Gary I'm is six four. So. Six four. That a, that's up there. It's up there. I like it. Yeah, that's gonna be a really nice fence. I like it compared to that four foot, which. The four foot's nice too. It's nice, but I like the six foot because I'm gonna be probably going in there and uh, cleaning up the main coop area with the kids and everything. And yeah, if it's short like that guy, I ain't getting in there. Yeah, there it'd be no it'd way. be breaking your back to bend over mm -hmm. all the time. And we've had coops like that where it was tight, tight like that and it was not fun for me yeah so now that we have a good game plan on what we're doing um, where when how all that stuff uh, first things first is we're gonna move these rabbit hutches this is gonna be a little bit treacherous though because if you guys remember the last time that we tried to pick up and move anything heavy it was the scaffolding and I really did a number on my back and that really sucked so we're gonna take it as easy as possible and try to go as slow as possible because the only way that we can move these things is with manpower and yeah I'm not a man so you know I'm gonna have to give it girl power <laughs> we're gonna do it the best we can it's gonna include lots of breaks I can tell you that much yes. I've, I picked it up um, me and Gary we just picked it up this morning when we decided this is what we were gonna do hey Reek Reek's getting it <laughs> Reek's getting it uh, anyway we picked it up um, this morning just to see if we how we were gonna do it if we were gonna need some extra hands or whatever and Gary and I can do it by ourselves but we're gonna pick it up go a few feet and then stop and yep. then pick it up and go a few feet and stop and yeah we got a hill to climb and it's gonna be right up there on the other tier so yep are you ready baby well I'm as ready as I'm gonna be <laughs> go easy <laughs> on me this time you be the caboose like right off the road I'm, I'm gonna be off, I'm gonna be the caboose it'll be all right It'll be all right. I hope. I hope. I hope you tell you tell me when to stop, and I'll put it down. Yeah, just don't yank me and pull me like last time. Oh, I hope oh, I don't. You're push gonna be you. you're gonna be the I caboose. Hope I don't push we'll you. be we'll be all right. Gary's gonna be the caboose, um, and yeah, we're gonna get this thing moving. Out. I'm not going to step, I'm just going to pick it up. You straighten it out. You good? That's, that's as straight as it's going to be right now. Okay. One. We're on the hill. One, two, three. Oh, I need love. Huh? I need 
gloves. Go get your gloves. Down. Up here. That's one way to wake up. Yep. All got right. them up here. Well, now that they're up here, um, they're not going to stay right here. We just wanted to bring them up here to this top tier. Um, yep. We're actually thinking about repositioning them over here on this side. So essentially, all where those weeds are is where we're going to be putting the rabbit hutches. And we're going to face them one right next to the other. Um, we want them facing this way, like the same direction that they were um, side to side, because the sun, as you guys can tell, rises right there and it sets over there. So it would always be constantly going over the rabbits, which would leave them with a constant shade inside their cages. Well, the kids did a great job bringing all of those blocks over here. Yep. And now that it's all weed whacked and looking good, Gary and I have another tough job of moving all of those rabbit hutches from over there to over here. So you got the level? I got the level out. How do you want to do this? 
We'll get it over here and then we'll turn it. Okay. Get it over here and then we'll turn it and kind of figure out where the blocks are going to be after we get it where we want it. We'll lift it up one side then the other. Yep. All right. Well, let's do that. Let's do it. In one, two, three. Down, down, down. Gotta reposition. Huh? I have to reposition my hands. You're all right. One, two, three. <clears throat> Set it down. Ow. Ow. All right. So now you want me to? Now I want you to swing it and then we'll straighten it out. One, two, three. All right, you want to swap me spots? Yeah. On three. One, two, three. Ooh, ooh, down. My hand. Ooh. I mean. You want to come a little bit more to your way? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Just a hair. One. Okay, that's about good, babe. Okay, I'm going to swing my, my back end. About right there, I'd say. I mean, right. that should be. That should it be looks plenty. good to me. I mean, shoot, look at that. It's pretty straight. You got some walk space back yeah. here. I'm more worried about back here because we no, still got to do the fence. No, I know. There's this is good <laughs> enough walk space right here. I mean, check this out. You got enough space to to get. That space right there to there is probably about three feet. I'm thinking two in the back, one in the front. Probably. It's got that lean. Okay. Should I come get this guy over here on this side? Rabbits are probably like, what the hell? What's going on? It's an earthquake, Armageddon, oh no. Okay. All right, let's find out how off we are. Oh, we're off by quite a bit up here. We need to come up about that high, so I need to dig that guy down. Do that does need to get dig down. All right. We're pretty dang there. I mean, I need to dig this guy down a little. Okay, so the front legs need to go down just a hair. That looks pretty level to me. You did a great yep. job. It's pretty much there. Yeah. Pretty happy about that. So the rabbit's cages are going to stay here now. This is their permanent housing. Um, if some of you that are worried about the heat of the day, I'm telling you, this is the best way for it to go. As you guys can see, the sun is directly above us. And look at that. All of these guys have shade inside their cages. Yeah. So no matter what, as the sun goes from this side of the sky all the way over to the other side, these guys should be nice and cool no matter what time of year. If it gets too hot, I have been saving milk jugs that I'm freezing. And um, we're gonna stick them in there so they'll have that to lay up against. I'll, but I'll tell you this, I'm sitting on the shade side of the rabbit hutch right here and it feels mighty nice versus standing out there in the sun. Yeah, 
for sure. Yeah. I know that they're pretty happy right there. They're pretty good right there. Yeah. And this is going to be making it super easy access for, you know, the gold that they give us. Yeah. Yep, yeah. That was a really good idea, babe. Mm hmm Now, we will be adding another cage or building on to this cage system because we do have four bunnies in here and we've got three cages. So what happened was <laughs> is we were planning on getting three rabbits and then me and the kids each fell in love with one of our own. So we ended up with four. Yep. Now when we were building the coops, we were again only planning on getting three. So um, it is what it is. At some point we are gonna have to build onto this and add just one more pen probably on this side of it so that way it'll be four pens yep. um, and then we'll still have the two pens for the grow out but yeah we're definitely not getting to that today but it is kind of inching closer and closer on our to-do list only because yep. of the rabbits maturity and once they hit uh, maturity you know the males can't be together anymore so right now it's fine but yes. it is getting to that point where we're gonna have to add on to this real quick so yeah. Um, but for now, friends, we do. We still want to try to drive some posts today. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, this moving the rabbits and dealing with all this stuff definitely made us go squirrel. Yeah. But that's all right. Um, we have one more thing we got to do, which is get that grow out pen over here and situated, and then we can start driving post. I'm not um, going to go all crazy with that one and getting it level. No. Because we are going to have to move it to build on another one onto this one. So. Right, and nobody's living in it at this time. We're just kind of placing it over here. So yep. let's just put the muscle in. Let's just get it over here out of that burn pile area. Yep. And then let's go down and drive some post. Let's go and get that going. All right, let's do it. All right. Three. One, two, three. <clears throat> ah. Almost there. <sighs> Three. You got it? Yeah. All right. It's... I mean, it's not gonna tip it's over. It's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, no. Well, that wasn't as bad as we were thinking it was gonna be. We got it over. Um, again, we're not gonna be doing any of the leveling for it right now, just because it's kind of pointless. So yep. we'll come back and we'll deal with this on another day. Really? But for today, let's go uh, see if we can borrow that auger from Country Road Cure. Let's set some post. Oh yeah. I'm looking forward to this. It is so nice living so close to my brother. Yes. I tell you what, oftentimes uh, if we don't got the tool, they do. <laughs> yep. And if, uh, you know, vice versa and whatnot. It's really nice. <sighs> Man, their garden is growing up big. Holy moly, it's Roxanne popping. got like a three week head start to us. And it looks beautiful. It is popping. Well, let's go find out where Anthony and Roxanne are. <laughs> I hear them back here, so let's see if we can borrow that tool. Come on over here to the back side, and Anthony is just walking out of the chicken coop. How are your chickens doing today, bro? They're good. See those baby chickens, man. I was babysitting them while you were gone, and uh, they look even bigger now. Holy moly. Yeah, probably about another week or so they're going to go into the other coop. Yeah. And then they'll be in the coop coop. I just got to make sure they're big enough so none of them can get out. Yeah. yeah. Because I don't have any of the chicken wire on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. This one does, has it all the way around. That one doesn't. It's exciting, man. So you, got, you guys see how Anthony's uh, chicken coop looks? Let's go over here real quick. Let's come, come over here, bro. Let's go show them. We're totally biting off of Country Road Cure. Anthony and Rox had the idea first, and I just love it so much. We're totally robbing you, bro. <laughs> hey, it's free post. It's free post. It's free. I did. So check it out. This is how Anthony and Rox have their set up, and I like the idea and the functionality of it so much. We're totally biting off a of Country Road Cure style. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do, these are cedars too. So we're yep. going to do the, a very similar kind of thing with the cedar posts. I do have the netting. Um, 
Anthony, you sent me the link for to buy it. You guys get it already? I already yeah. got it. I got it on site. I have all the materials now. It's just when. Doing it. <laughs> this is good too because it's knotted. It's not like glued yeah. together. Yeah, it's look, knotted. look, guys. It's really nice, high quality stuff. And so essentially the same kind of um, look and feel that they did with their coop is what we're gonna do with ours. The cedars, the fencing, and then the netting over the top. I'm even gonna steal the stick in the middle idea with the treats and the light and everything. I'm stealing your whole setup. <laughs> are, you gonna, are you gonna steal the uh, toilet lid? Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe not a toilet lid. It might be a Some five sort of gallon. Lid. <laughs> that's, that's actually probably a lot more sturdier than a bucket lid. I mean, hey, it works, right? Well, the kids broke that. I had, I had one of those toilet seats you put over a bucket. It snaps in. Yeah, yeah. And it broke. One of the kids broke it. I think white lid. Floating around, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna use that toilet lid. <laughs> it works, mm -hmm. dude. It's a piece of plastic. Yeah, I think we have a scrap piece of five gallon bucket lid that, that we could too. use, you know? It's basically the same thing. Yeah, but I, I love your. Well, hello to you too, sir. Yeah. I love your uh, post light too, right? Yeah, that's, got... that's nice. Yeah, solar, it does work. It doesn't get as much sun as I want it to, so it only lasts like an hour at nighttime, but. But at Still least something. those yeah. like nighttime go out to the coop real quick and check things out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. Yeah. It's good. But how Anthony and Rox got their set up, guys, where the whole coop, like <laughs> the main coop is right here on the inside and then you go walking around and you can collect all the eggs. That's pretty much exactly what we're going to do. So we are 100% thiefing the idea from Country mm -hmm. Road Cure. If you guys want to go back to their channel and check out their whole build, um, I know you guys did it. It's probably about a, um, a year old at this point. Yeah. You guys got it on a um, playlist, maybe? It, it's on our like the homestead playlist okay yeah. go to his homestead playlist somewhere. i'm gonna actually i'm gonna find one of the videos and then you can just watch the series of succession right there right there that's where you want to go if you want to see it so anyways let's steal your auger i need your auger bro I need your <laughs> auger. squirrel <laughs> and while i'm over here i think i'm gonna steal some of your clover too go ahead, for the I, rabbits i mean as you see Dude. Yeah, everywhere. there you is. Got, There's so much clover, it. guys. You get to actually use it first. I haven't even used it yet. Well, it, shoot. It hasn't even been started since I bought it. Well, man, oh, man. So you get to use it first. All right. This is the better model, too, dude. Okay. One. That's so that the, one's like a, and it's two-stroke still, too, right? Yeah, you need, yeah, you need to mix the gas. Yeah, two-cycle, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll do it. I ain't worried about it. Hell yeah. But have fun. You get to start it first. I just haven't, I bought it because I knew I was going to do all this fencing. Yeah. I just haven't done the fencing yet. Oh, dude. So it's like. <laughs> There's so much fencing to do. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I have this bit too. Hell yeah. I'll take that guy too. Yeah. I know I have a couple of fatties, but. So for smaller ones? Yeah. And then that one, that one I'm going to use for all those posts I have. It's like perfect size. Heck yeah. That's 90% of the posts. I did get yeah. a couple of pretty thick ones where I was like, well, I need to take this one and I can make three. But see, I have the small one too. Just so you know. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, and I did find my extension, but now I can't find it again. But <laughs> I don't okay. need to go. I don't need to go that deep. We only need I, to go like a see, foot and a half. I literally did mine just the deep as the auger. Yeah. Well, the other auger. Well, and we're not concreting it or anything. We're going. It's cedar, no. so it's no. not going to rot. Nope. Mm -mm. Probably gonna. In, you have your big. Take that guy. Yeah. Take this too. Take the stick. Okay. Then you, I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. All, Stomp it in there. Your guys, but oh, all, I... all around it. Yeah. I remember the stick very well. Nope. <laughs> that dang stick. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Well. Here. Right, well. I'll put the clover in my armpit. Let me let me make this work. But this is heavy. So. Guys, we're yeah. gonna have to get back Here, to you I'll, when we're on the bottom that. tier. I'll grab that <laughs> Thank guy. you, bro. Love you. Love you too. No problem. Thank you, man. All right. Don't break it. I need to get my hands Bring free so I can carry there. this stuff down Perfect. there. Um, we'll catch you down at the bottom tier. Greens. Babsy. guys so gary is definitely going to be doing all of the augering for our fence posts the last time i tried to use an auger i about turned into a pretzel um it's been a couple of years but you know what that hurt so bad i'm not even gonna attempt it again i'm gonna let gary gary take this one over 
I like it. Yeah, we're covering a lot of ground. You guys are getting it done. She said she wanted to work. Maybe she wants to. Hey, did you want to try this? I'll try it, yeah. Okay, I'm scared of it a little, but I'll try it. Go slow. This is the gas pedal, okay? Okay, I'll try it. We want to go more of an angle. And that is why I'm not going to be using an auger. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, I could run a jackhammer, chainsaw. I mean, I run most of the tools that Gary does, but there's some things that just take that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not for me.
Well, heck yeah, guys. We got our first wall of posts in. Mm -hmm. Huge accomplishment. Yes. We're both really hot and sweaty. Yeah. I would um, say more so Gary than me. <laughs> I'm dying over here, but it's all right. We're, uh, we're getting a good game plan. Yeah. Um, we are going to want to move this uh, little chicken coop so that way we can finish up where we want it. Um, but I think we have a really good game plan of how we want to have this laid out. Yeah, it's going to work out really well, guys. They're going to have a huge run mm -hmm. and it's going to be easy access for all the eggs and cleaning and just everything. We have a good game plan. So yes. now it's just continuing to uh, uh, execute it. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, what's the next wall we're going to start on, babe? So I've got two posts that I really want to get going and get in there. Okay. Um, we've got this post right here where you got stacked and the post over there. Okay. So those two, and then I've got one more I want to put in over here. And this defining corner right here is not going to be the post. The post is going to be somewhere over here. And then we're going to have that coop pulled all the way over here and it'll hug that post so we can fence off everything how we need it to be fenced. I mean, it makes sense to me. And then uh, right here is going to be where our chicken coop is going to be anyway. So we don't need a whole lot of bracing right here. We're going to be able to attach all that fencing to the chicken coop. So that'll give us good spot right here. And as soon as this is over here, we can do this line and that corner right there. And that should be all the posts. So what you're telling me is two more posts and then move the coop? Three more posts and then move the coop. All right. I can get that one in there, eyeballing it, and then we can maneuver that guy, get that set where we want it, and go from there. yippee i o ki yay yippee i o ki yay yippee i o ki yay Well, the food's as good as the floor show, it's all right. Let's get it. Let's do it.
guys, we got all of the posts in the ground that we are able to do for now. Yep. Uh, now is the time we gotta move that chicken coop. Yep. And then we got what, another two, three? Another three. Another See. three left. So I say, I mean, last time I said three and I did a lot more than three. Yeah, you kind of <laughs> do that to us. But hey, you know what? We have enough posts, so if there's more than we need, any, it's all good. Yeah. Um, let's uh, let's move this chicken coop so we could finish putting the last posts in the ground. Yeah. I don't know how much time we're gonna have left after this. I mean, look at the sun. Yeah. It's already getting to that time. It's getting there. It's getting there. We're gonna have to push all of the chickens inside the actual coop so that way nobody is inside the run. Yes. And then we're gonna have to pick it up ever so carefully and bring it over here to this area. So. Yeah. yeah. This is gonna be interesting. All right, chicky, chicky, chickies. Reek. Oh. Reek's a meanie I wanted to say something else but yeah keep it PG He's go figure the the roosters a meanie but you know what the roosters doing its job I can't be mad at it yeah it's protecting for the ladies I just want to grab the food all right that's all I want to do can I grab the food and can you not for once chickies got some eggies in there I will coerce them in here. All right, well, we wrangled up the chickens, we wrangled up the children. Let's get this coop moved. All right. friends is all she wrote for today guys yes. the sun is on its way down we only have probably about another hour until dark I gotta cook a meal for all of those kiddos very very busy but overall I am super happy with how this thing is turning out I am super pumped like there's our chicken run there's our chicken area it is now set in stone that's it yeah that's where it's gonna it. be this is it um, if you guys would like to watch the completion of this, stay tuned because uh, tomorrow or the next day we should be able to finish running all the fence, adding the netting on top, and uh, getting this thing finalized. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited, guys. This is awesome. I'm super happy about this. That makes uh, this area just that much more the animal area now. Yeah, and moving the rabbits up to that middle tier was a great idea, Gary. I love how much more space these chickens and our, our flock is going to have. And um, it's going to make doing the, the garden gold chore a lot easier for us. So yes. 
Yeah, great way to go, man. Good thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I have good ideas. <laughs> but anyway, we got to get back at it. Yep. Let's uh, get on with it with the kiddos and uh, get some food in us because we need some energy back. To oh us. my goodness, yes. And I think both of us really need a shower. Yes. Yeah. Badly. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to get to it, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Ask you to subscribe if you guys haven't yet subscribed. We are on an amazing journey, building a cabin, building a complete homestead from scratch. We're sharing the journey with my brother, Anthony, and his wife, Roxanne. Country Road Cure, just up the hill. So make sure you're subscribed to them as well, guys. It's a family uh, compound thing that we got going on here. So yes. hope that you stay for the journey. Enjoy the laughs. Enjoy the good times. We got to run. So until the next one, friends, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.